This is Streamline News for Monday, January 9th, 2012, brought to you by SwimOutlet.com, the web's most popular swim shop. The first college dual meets of 2012 kicked off this past weekend, with Arizona hosting four teams in Tucson on Friday. The Wildcat men, who are ranked number one in the country, beat the Iowa Hawkeyes easily, despite being without NCAA champion Corey Chitwood and top-ranked 400 IMer Austin Thompson, who were reported, reportedly sitting out due to illness. And the fifth-ranked Arizona women crushed Iowa, Northern Arizona, New Mexico State, and Oregon State on the strength of double wins by Alyssa Anderson and Sarah Denninghoff. Texas defeated the Georgia women and men at the Lee and Joe Jamail Swim Center on Saturday. The Longhorn women didn't win by much, just 10 points over Georgia. Carly Bispo was a big help for the Longhorns with wins in the 50, 100, and 200 free. On the men's side, Texas beat Georgia 160 to 125 with the Longhorns winning all but two events. Stanford's men's and women's teams had no problem beating the University of the Pacific on Saturday. David Nolan continues to be the standout for the Cardinal, winning the 50 free, 200 back, and 100 fly. Michigan hosted Indiana on Saturday in Ann Arbor and earned victories over their conference rivals in the women's and men's meets. These two teams will wage a major war in the upcoming conference meet in Iowa. Check out our college channel at SwimmingWorld.com for more results from college, collegiate competition across the United States. Some good news today in Australia, Phil Rogers has his Olympic medal back. The two-time Olympian had his bronze medal from the 1996 Games stolen during a home robbery in December, but that medal was recovered on Friday after police acted on an anonymous tip. The Olympic medal was just one of many stolen from Rogers' home last month, but the others have not yet been recovered, according to media reports. We are 200 days away from the opening ceremony of the London Olympics and 201 days from the start of swimming competition in the London Aquatic Center. Here's a look at the exterior of the pool from a photo taken earlier today. All the venues in the Olympic Park, including the Aquatic Center, are now under the control of the London 2012 Organizing Committee. In a largely symbolic move, Olympic Delivery Authority handed over the reins today as Olympic organizers prepare to host test events and complete the preparations of the venues. And in more good news for the Aquatic Center, a permanent facility operator has been named to run the daily, the daily proceedings once the games are over, which has never been accomplished before the Olympics begin. Besides reducing the number of spectator seating, no major changes will be made to the London Aquatic Center once the Olympics and Paralympics are done. That's going to do it for Streamline News today. Thanks for watching.